Hey noobs! Today, we're going to be taking a look at Fleeting Iris, a new life simulation game developed by Heaven Studios and published by Kagura Games. Now like with many of Kagura's other titles on Steam, the game will be censored by default. This can sometimes not only remove the age scenes, but also critical game features as well, so I strongly recommend to download and install the 18 plus patch from the Kagura Games website before starting the game. You can find a link for the patch under the video in the details below. Now with that out of the way, Fleeting Iris is a game where you play as Ayame, a young Japanese girl working as a waitress. The game starts in Japan, where Ayame meets Robert, a young CIA agent stationed in Japan during a mission. The two fall in love, leading Robert to eventually propose and ask Ayame if she would like to come back to America with him and be his bride. Ayame says yes, which begins the main game. The two arrive at Robert's house in America, where Ayame is introduced to Robert's college-aged son from a previous marriage. The three then discuss what Ayame would like to do now that she is in America, leading her to eventually decide she would like to start working a job, which would become the main thing you do during the weekdays throughout the game. Now, Fleeting Iris is a game all about freedom and choices. In the leading days up to your wedding, there are many different and unique routes that you can take Ayame down, and the choice is all yours. You can play through the game staying pure and faithful to Robert until your wedding day, or you can engage in several activities with many of the other townspeople behind his back. And with that being said, this game comes with a heavy NTR content warning. This game is lavish with NTR sequences, so if that is not your thing at all, then keep that in mind before playing. The city in Fleeting Iris is massive, featuring libraries, museums, movie theaters, clubs, and many other places, with your options only expanding more and more as you progress through the game. A large portion of the scenes in the game revolve around the different jobs you can pick up throughout the game. Each job has its own story and characters with which you can romance or reject. You can choose to continue on with your job or eventually quit and find another one if you're not interested in the route. The first job you will have is working as a waitress at a local bar, where you will meet Manny, who you learn has a reputation with women. I won't spoil the story for this job, but you will eventually have a choice on whether or not you would like to continue working this job or move on to another one. I tried several of the other jobs out during my time with Fleeting Iris as well, and all of them do have fun and engaging storylines, where you will meet new characters as well as also characters from Ayame's past in Japan. I do want to mention it is possible to complete one of your storylines and then move on to another job as well, so do keep that in mind during your playthrough. Aside from the jobs though, Fleeting Iris features many other random events you can find while exploring the city. Some of these can feature special event sequences as well where you play as different characters and can even feature different gameplay mechanics as well, such as the stealth event shown here. These events are fun and exciting and can offer a nice refreshing change of pace for the game. They also offer some insight into the viewpoints of other characters during certain events. Occasional events will pop up on the weekends as well that can involve your husband, son-in-law, and even your neighbors who reveal they are long-time experienced swingers. The game is constantly offering you choices and plentiful age content with over 250 scenes. All the scenes are done well with more than satisfying enough illustration art. I've tried a couple different playthroughs at this point, and each one of them has felt fairly different from the previous. Overall, Fleeting Iris is a massive life simulation age game that gives you tons of freedom and options in how you want to play it. You can choose to make Ayame live a normal and pure life with Robert, or you can go behind Robert's back with the various citizens of Heaven City. Each playthrough of the game will feel very different from the last, which offers tons of replayability for those who want a longer playing experience. If you're looking for a good life simulation age game, then Fleeting Iris will be perfect for you. Once again, thank you to everyone for all the support, and if you'd like to see more age game content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the other videos. Also, don't forget to check out the Mr. Frog stream over on Twitch. Later, noobs.